Got a new playlist of A-level exam question walkthroughs. So this one's for the AS part of Enthalpy Changes. So as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so the question starts off with a definition for average bond enthalpy. So that's the average enthalpy change when one mole of a covalent bond is broken in gaseous conditions. Next part, we've got to use these average bond enthalpies to calculate the enthalpy change for this reaction. So I call this an in minus out calculation. So I'll just quickly explain that. So we're going to work out the amount of energy needed to break the bonds in the reactants. So that's my energy in. And then we're going to get energy out when we make these bonds in the products. So that's my energy out. The delta H is the in minus the out. Okay, so I'll just run through these numbers. So in four moles of ammonia, you've actually got 12 moles of the NH bond. So we multiply this bond enthalpy by 12. Three moles of O2, we're breaking three moles of this bond here. So we treble that. So the total energy in is 6186. And then for the energy out, we're making two moles of nitrogen. So it's double that one. And we're making six moles of H2O. So in each water molecule, there are two OH bonds, so we're going to make 12 moles of those. So we multiply the OH bond enthalpy by 12. There's our energy out value. So the enthalpy change is the in minus the out, minus 1272 kilojoules per mole. And the last part of the question, it's a little bit tricky this one. So we've just calculated a value, an enthalpy change value for this reaction here. So we now know that that's minus 1272 kilojoules per mole. But we've got to work out, we've got to use that and this extra information to calculate the value for the enthalpy change of combustion for ammonia. So there's a couple of things we need to factor in here. The equation here wasn't carried out under standard conditions because we've got gaseous H2O. Standard conditions, so 298 Kelvin, H2O is a liquid. So what we've got to do is we've got to keep the sort of cycle going, if you like, or to keep the process going until we get 6H2O liquid. And then the other thing to factor in is that the enthalpy change of combustion is the enthalpy change for the combustion of one mole of a compound completely. Well, this is going to give us four times that answer. So at the end of the calculation, we're going to have to quarter it. Okay, so I'll just run through what's on the screen now. So we know the enthalpy change for that reaction there, but we need to factor in going from six moles of gaseous H2O to six moles of liquid H2O for the standard conditions. We were given the enthalpy change for the conversion of liquid H2O to gaseous. So that's that process. We want to go that way. So we just flip the sign. So the plus 44 becomes minus 44. The six is obviously we've got six moles of H2O to change from gaseous to liquid. So the enthalpy change of combustion is going to be that plus that, so that there, divided by four, because we've got four moles of ammonia. So the answer was minus 384 kilojoules per mole. So well done if you got that bit right, because I think that is tricky.